Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Thoughts. Um, in our last tutorial, we uh, looked at how we could use the Nevo Slider uh, module in Drupal 7, uh, which is this module. Uh, but with this kind of module, you notice you can only have one kind of um, slider at a time, and um, it's not that flexible as much as you would want it. Uh, so to make more complex and more advanced sliders, uh, we can use what we call the views uh, nivel slider. Here are tutorials on um, doing it in Drupal 6, but we're doing it in Drupal 7. Uh, so yeah, we'll just dive into it quickly. So uh, first thing first, uh, let's download the uh, views nivel slider for you. So I do drush, download views underscore nivo underscore slider and then I would enable it rush enable views underscore nivo underscore slider now remember when you're downloading remember just like in the last tutorial to um, download the nivo slider uh, plugin from your website uh, which is this one and so download the most recent one and extract it into your sites or libraries nivel slider uh, in my last tutorial i extracted it into my folder on my website so that's why i'm not doing that anymore and it also requires the library modules to be installed so yeah let's enable our nivel slider use nivel slider yes and that should enable that for us and once that's done, we will clear our cache trash CC or and that should clear our cache and we should be ready to work with our module. So once that is done, we'll go to our website. Yep, that's done, refresh. Uh, so the first thing first, we would need to create a content type for this. For the Nivo slider module, you don't create any content type. You just go to Nivo slider and attach all your images. Uh, but for this one, we're gonna create a content type. So let's add a new content type. Let's call it a uh, um, gallery. Let's call it gallery. Uh, Nivo slider gallery. Uh, so for this publishing, promoted to front page, no author, no. <gasps> excuse me and this should be closed and we would save and add fields uh, for this zero we would not be doing much so let's add a new field called image uh, image or let's say or let's call it new image or let's call it gallery image image and let's select the field type is going to be type image image and let's click on save so basically what we do is we use the title for the title the body for the description and we would change that uh, if you want to make this description you can change that by clicking the edit and changing that uh, click on save and yes public files yes click on save field required field and number of value one yes thumbnails yes and that should be it you can change the extension of the kind of files you want uploaded png gifs jpeg jpeg so yep and i click on save settings and so our content type is ready for our views uh, for this also we would need the views module uh, so make sure you have the views module enabled to work with this so i go to views and let's add a new view quickly we'll call this a uh, nivel block uh, nivel block uh, we don't want the page we just want a block and so we will just continue and edit and once that is done the first thing you want to do is add a new field uh, let's add a field of um, body and our gallery image and that's it and we'll click on apply body label no um, and we click on apply image now image style we want to use large depending on your setting link image to nothing formatter image yeah we click on apply and uh, yeah that's done the next thing you want to do is go to format 
and now you should find the new slider click on that and click on apply and yeah that should work you can decide to make this random box random box ring or you can select any one or just leave it at random whichever one works fine for you image field star we use large uh, control navigator you can say basic whatever you want to use I say disabled image style for using terms thumbnail whatever just change all your settings to whatever you works whatever works best for you and I click on apply and so once that's done you find out that there are quite a number of articles coming up here even though we have not um, selected we've not created the content of gallery yet so what you want to do is um, you want to filter so I had a new filter of uh, content of type uh, content type apply this is not a views and um, tutorial if you don't know how to use the views module uh, there are loads of tutorials on our websites you can check them out I click on gallery and I click apply and so now it should only display um, gallery of type um, uh, a, a node of type gallery here let's give a block a name we call this a uh, new block and we'll click on apply and yep so that's done if we click on save um yeah that should work fine however there's one more thing we need to select uh, the row style so we click on views new row slider and i click on apply what field do you want to use for the image call it gallery image title field i call it um title so if you have a link um, um field in your content type you can then select that but I don't have this link field so I can click on apply and I will click on save so that should uh, create a block for us so the next thing is let's quickly create some content so let's click add content of type gallery and let's call this um this should show slide one and we decide not to give you a body choose image I select my former images click on upload and I click on save uh, yeah that's it so let's add another image add content gallery uh, I am slide 2 we choose image scroll down choose that upload that and I will click on save and so now we have two images so let's go and create a block that shows our, our new slider here so we go to structure click on blocks and um, let's locate new block which is the new block we created so that's a new view new block and I set that on featured and I click on save blocks and that should work fine so if I click on home voila our slide is appearing so now I can go to the next one next one next one so this is a way of creating a more advanced one so with this you can create another content type for another kind of slider which will be shown somewhere else uh, you can decide to remove the title of this slide that you have to know how to use blocks so to edit this um, view you can click here and go to view or configure the block say for example you want this slider to show on only the home page and you can change that here uh, so basically that's how to use the views uh, new slider in Drupal 7.